is New York's theater district, a vibrant place where there's always excitement in the air. And the ASU Gamage Progressive Broadway Across America Arizona series for 2010-11 includes productions touring for the first time. The shows have been carefully selected by Tony Awards voter and Gamage Executive Director Colleen Jennings Rogensock. The ASU Gamage Broadway Across America Arizona series is the best in the country because of our community. We have a community that's committed to excellent first run Broadway. So what that says to producers in New York and actors and performers is that in all of the country they know when they come to ASU Gamage they are going to be met by a well-informed, excited audience who knows their stuff. Welcome to ASU Gamage. It's an all-musical season with Tony Award-winning shows headed straight from New York, many of them family favorites. There is a lot of excitement coming to this stage. Let's take a look. The classic Mel Brooks movie is alive on stage, and it's headed our way. You'll have a monstrously good time at this new production. It's a comedy with adventure and romance, and it follows Dr. Frankenstein as he attempts to create a monster with some scary and hilarious complications. The brains behind the laughter, Mel Brooks. There are many moments, iconic moments, legendary moments from the movie that are just, you know, hurled onto the stage. I think people need to escape from the evening news <laughs> and they can come and watch Young Frankenstein and have a laugh and a smile. is an exuberant Tony Award-winning musical revival. It is about a group of young Americans searching for peace and love in a turbulent time. Hey everybody, I'm Anna Lee Ashford and we're here on Broadway at the Al Hirschfeld Theater where the musical Hair is playing. Come on down the stairs and I'll take you on a tour backstage. Here are some of the incredible wardrobe um, being cleaned every day. Now we are in the hair room of hair. As you can see, there are some magical pieces that have to be displayed every evening. Um, behind us, we have our hippie truck, our hippie hideout, and where our band plays live on stage every night. And if you look on the floor, we have our hippie rugs which take us right back to 1967. This is one of those shows where you actually get to look into the eyes of the audience and you get to see what they're feeling. And it's a, and it's a wide gamut of emotions that you see out there. <laughs> Shrek the Musical is based on the Oscar-winning DreamWorks film that started it all. It's the hilarious story of everyone's favorite ogre. In a faraway kingdom, things get ugly when an unseemly ogre, not a handsome prince, shows up to rescue a feisty princess. I am Jason Moore. I'm the director of Shrek the Musical. Back at us again, Haven, looking here. Yeah, great. What makes this story interesting is its characters. And because they're cookies and they're donkeys and they're witches, you know, Shrek is a fairy tale, and it takes place in the world of fairy tales, and there's actually a lot of ways to adapt the world that it takes place in. Nine to Five the Musical is a fun story of friendship and revenge. This new musical is based on the hit movie and features Dolly Parton's original hit title song. Dolly Parton wrote this musical. This is really about women empowerment, and I think it is very fun. Stand up, grab a hold, give everything you got. Relive a glorious tradition in musical theater with Fiddler on the Roof. This timeless classic has been lauded by critics again and again, and it won the hearts of people all around the world. The story of Tavia, and as his three daughters grow, we watch each of the daughters come into their own, from being having a groom selected for them to making their own choices. It is heartfelt 
and I think it is as relevant and as important today as it was when it first appeared on Broadway. Hi, this is Elton John, and uh, I'm here to tell you that Billy Elliot, the musical, has been probably one of the most enjoyable things I've ever done in my life. With Elton John's music, Billy Elliot the musical is a celebration of one boy's triumphant journey. It's a story that follows young Billy as he stumbles out of the boxing ring and into a ballet class, discovering a passion that inspires his family and his community. Most of the boys come from a ballet background and then they learn to tap and do acrobatics and to sing and to act. Arms over your head, come on. Good, 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 good. Not far from Broadway, there's a studio where all of the highly talented, hardworking young guys who have been cast in Billy Elliot the Musical's lead role gather for their dance and acrobatic practice. There you go. My name is Alex Coe and I'm in Billy Elliot and we are in the boys dress room where we get chained before every show. We all have different like sections. We, this is like my section, this is in all the other Billy sections. If you look closely right behind here, there's the harness, the, um, the harness that we fly on. This is what takes us, what holds us, that takes us up into the air during the flying scene in Dream Ballet. Mamma Mia! is the ultimate feel-good show that has audiences coming back again and again to relive the thrill. Every night I walk out, and in general, people are sitting back, watching, waiting. By the end of the show, everyone is on their feet. There is a brand new set for Beauty and the Beast, and here's a peek at what it looks like. The vibrant colors are perfectly suited for an enchanting fairy tale. The gorgeous set was designed by Stanley A. Meyer here in his New York City art studio. One of the things that uh, the director, Rob Ross, said to all of us is that he really wanted to see through to the heart of the story. So ultimately, that affects the design, the lighting, the costumings, the stay, everything about the show. Disney's Beauty and the Beast is a classic musical love story. It's filled with unforgettable characters, lavish scenery and costumes, and dazzling production numbers. <laughs> Discover the magic of Dr. Seuss's classic holiday tale as it comes to life on stage. <laughs> it's the brand new 25th anniversary production of the legendary musical Les Miserables. Cameron McIntosh has taken Les Mis, has redone Les Mis. It's going to be a really incredible Les Mis. It's absolutely one of my favorite musicals. My life would be so different from this heaven I'm living. It's a season you know, it's a season you'll love. Come create memories here at ASU Gamage.